Hello guys, this is your boy Vipers, Viper here today, and we're going to give you a solo money making guide for GTA 5, especially for the lower levels, mostly preferring level 1 to 50, we'll go with, we can go to 102, or until we unlock everything at 120, as this is kind of a new guide, you know, people have a hard time making money sometimes, and I don't know why it's a struggle but it shouldn't be but again it's always a f I will show you my effective way of making money and also what to spend your money that you earn from on that's an important thing you don't want to waste your money on stuff that doesn't make sense so that's the point. So you can be from this GTA 5 player who has a crappy ass car, no clothes, doesn't, no fashion taste to a level 300, 400 with a fancy car and nice fashion taste. That's the big thing here. So we're going to get to that. Um, so this is also recorded live if you're curious on why I'm... Um, I go in and out, but that's the point. So first thing we're kind of be talking about is weapons, as that's kind of a important thing you need to have. As we'll have head to the weapons shop. Weapons are very important to GTA 5, as noticeable, because that's the only thing gives you a fine chance. Now I'm going to tell you what weapons you need to buy. I don't, and what weapons you don't need to buy. So we're going to kind of start with um, the pistol category. So we're on AP pistol is a preferred weapon. The reason I would go with AP pistol, um, this is my adding my preferred pistol is because it's, first thing is fully automatic. Second thing it is kind of the best thing to shoot out of when you're in a drive-by situation or shooting out of a car situation. Fully automatic, you don't, it doesn't have the trick, you know, just spray it, you hit some shots consistently that's the big thing and you know that's what you gotta go with it i don't know again i don't have one price in it but i prefer you get this weapon um i'm sorry if i don't have one price is anything but again this is kind of a use account so pistol the regular pistol you should already have this unlocked already unless you have to buy it i don't remember but if you have to buy it get this one and Make sure you have a silencer. Um, this is one of the weapons I prefer to have a silencer. Again, I have silencers on pistols just for a hell of it. Again, you can have a fully on um, non silence too if you want to. And then we're going to kind of, we're going to head to the ARs. Okay, we're going to start with SMGs. SMGs, I would prefer you get the regular one. It is kind of not. I know you, maybe people want the micro SMG because you can also shoot that out of the car, but I, it's not worth it. It's not going to worth it when you have to run and gun. Um, SMG, the regular SMG, it looks like the MP5 variant. It's a lot more preferred choice. Has distance. Very accurate. Consistent fire rate. That's where you want to go. Um, you can also, I haven't bought the saw SMG, but that, I think that one's not bad too. Uh, 11,000 bucks, pretty cheap. If you have the money, save it. Next thing is shotguns. There is four shotguns on... Oh, sorry. A couple shotguns on the wall. There's on one on her. And also another SMG, if I can find it. The Usenberg Sweeper. That one's not a bad weapon. 12000 bucks. It used to be a Valentine's Day special, but now it's not. I prefer you get this one. Um, Com Combat PDW. It's another SMG. Good one to get. Um, Just the only SMG... Don't get the mini SMG. If you you already have the AP pistol, can pack a punch. It's not worth the money, unless you have eight thousand bucks over and you don't know what to spend it on. But again, you, I'd rather save the eight thousand bucks. Uh, shotguns. And you kind of start here. Then I'm gonna go back to the main. The sweeper shotgun is not a bad thing. It's really good for bikes. Uh, if you own a bike, you can really pack a punch. Double barrel shotgun isn't that bad. Don't really use it. I haven't really locked it. Start off shotgun is free weapon. You can go get off the wall, but I would not really prefer it as your main use of shotgun. Uh, bow pop, it's like a KSG kind of weapon. I never really used it. 
Um, but if you want to spend seven thousand bucks, I'm guessing it's slug rounds. So it could. I think it's gonna be a. It's a powerful weapon. Um, pump shotgun prefer you get and a saw shotgun. This is the shotgun you mainly want to use. Um, overall, because of its capability. You know, it says eight round magazine, but I prefer you to buy a extended max for it. Um, as you go here, I don't extend clip. Um, I don't know how much extended clip is, but it's preferred. You get a 32 round magazine, which is pretty good for a shotgun. You don't have to really reload constantly. Um, I get suppressed on this thing too, just because I really, again, you have 32 rounds. You, I don't think damage rounds. And just try to get the attachments that kind of mean a lot. Um, I prefer you not to get a flashlight. That's going to, don't get on guns. Camos, you can... You can try camos too, but I, you know, that's something I would not really spend my money on. I don't think I have to worry about. Don't worry about camos. That's really pointless. Uh, I think that's all the shotguns. Oh, heavy shotgun. Don't get this one. It's a waste of thousand bucks. It's the extended max isn't that great in it. Yeah, that's all I gotta say about it. It's just if you're gonna use a shotgun, use a saw shotgun. I don't know what level you unlock it, uh, but. That's kind of where you want to. 37. So you lock it rank 37. Let's get it. So ARs is the next category. Oh, we also got LMGs. Um, prefer you get the combat. Don't get the regular uh, MG. Uh, prefer you get the combat MG. This one you can probably get. You can get a 2 on mag. Um, unlike this one. Actually, you can probably get a boat, but I think I prefer this one. Again, it's a little bit... More dice here, a lot more higher rank. As this unlocks at 80. So again, you got a while to get there, but I would not really kind of spend the money on M MG. This one you lock at 50. You can wait 30 levels. Um, ARs, I prefer you get an AR off the start. Or dull, you're not going to have a um, selection. So, sword rifle, if you want it. Um, but as this... Is free weapon season. You better get a free AR. So special carbine is the preferred AR at the start. Um, good thing is, it's a it's a one weapon, so you don't have to wait for unlock. I prefer you get the special carbine, twelve thousand, thirteen thousand bucks, really good. Um, and tr but you can get that AR. But one I would want to say, advanced rifle. It's nice. It's a good weapon to kind of drop off to a buddy. Uh, preferably when I can mention later. The carbine rifle is the weapon you want to get. It's a nice, powerful weapon, really smooth. And if you have a money, which I'll mention for a weapon workshop, I prefer you to kind of upgrade this one. Um, the AK-47, not really worth it. Um, just not really consistent. Advanced rifle, a little bit more of a pea shooter. I would prefer not to get it, but just worry about carbine rifle and the special carbine. You can also get the combat rifle if you want to. That's also another gun you can probably, I think, fire out of your car. But next thing, sniper rifles. I prefer you to get the heavy sniper. Oh no, you can get the regular sniper. I think because the heavy sniper you get at level ninety. Uh, the regular sniper you get fairly early on at twenty one. So again, I prefer you to get the heavy sniper, uh, um, since there's only three snipers in this game. But again, buy this one off the start, you get level 21, and then try to mainly utilize the heavy sniper. I know it has less um, ammo on the mag, it, it packs a punch. Now for the favorite category, explosives. So, you, I prefer only thing I will say is don't get the grenade launcher it doesn't have range it's not useful for taking out choppers which has been really dominant in the scene these last couple years so I prefer not to get a grenade launcher it could work in some cases if you have to blow up something that involves cars but otherwise not really worth it RPG you lock at rank 100 this is preferred um, just for vehicle destruction, and if you want to aim vehicles, minigun 120. I 
Again, this is I would prefer you not to buy the minigun and save you money. If you get to rank 120. Because and just spend it on stuff that you kind of don't have. Because it's not really a necessity. No, it's very good. Very powerful. And the homing launcher is the preferred weapon choice. Now, this is everybody's nightmare. As every gamer knows. It can lock on to it has lock on missiles which is very important if you want to take out those pesky annoying presser mark two people or want to take out a chopper of some sort um again you can use rpg to take out chopper but it's a lot easier kind of if it's kind of moving fast any jets any pesky griefers prefer use weapon and we're going to talk about the Unknowns don't I prefer you not to get these Um, These two these are just laser guns and they don't really pack damage But if I was gonna prefer one I prefer you get the up and atomizer it can really help you in a lot of situations as Just for say you get your vehicle stuck you can't flip it you can't get out you shoot this thing It will flip the vehicle right back up. I prefer you get some it's really expensive I think it's a hundred to two NK range. I don't know how much it is but that's something you probably want to get later on when you start kind of investing in businesses that um, involve more heavy product. It's preferred to set the MC. Um, that's kind of all for weapons. If I am going to talk about grenades, get a flare gun. Very nice to have. Um, again, this is your, the flare gun is something that you might want to have. But I'm not going to say it's required. Again, it's really nice to have something like that. Uh, tear, tear gas, not really used for you're not going to see them gunfight so much. Grenades, prefer you not buy a bulk. Um, again, grenades could be very useful, but it's something that you prefer. Again, it's 215 bucks. I wouldn't really, it's not my recommended choice, but since I'm going to mention later. But if you want to get, get grenades, pretty useful. I don't really care about pipe bombs and proximity mines. Proximity mines, again... People run over it. Could be useful if you're dealing with griefers, but I wouldn't see any other practical use. Pipe bomb, kind of not really the best. Compact grenade launcher, again, this is, you can buy this if you want to. Could be very useful, but again, you're driving a moving vehicle. I would prefer not to get it. Since you can only use out of bikes. You might use out of cars, I don't remember, but I prefer you not to use that. Because, again, you're moving, your grenades are probably not going to hit unless you guys get, the other guy crashes and gets stuck and you go to grenade and boom. And the last thing is the sticky bomb. This is what you kind of want to buy. Buy this in bulk. Very useful when you have to deal with kind of any guys chasing you in cars, anyone, rats chasing out product. Um, that's all I got to say. Jerry can, again, 88 bucks, not, could be worth it. For some people but and then armor again you're gonna kind of progress for this just prefer you if you get to high low just buy super heavy armor by the time again armor isn't that impactful in this game as kind of past um, GTA games so that kind of sucks because again fear four bullets your armor shredded so you gotta deal with that natural help and any high skier again you'll lock this over time you have to Actually, you don't probably need to do this, but if you're going to buy any high skier, night vision, not really worth it. Earpiece, I just have this on just because for the hell of it. Doesn't really matter. You don't need earpieces. But I prefer you to buy rebreeders. The reason, I will, again, it's going to cut, it's for each one. So 5000 bucks per rebreeder. If I'm right. Oh, no. Yeah, 5000 bucks per rebreeder. And the reason I prefer you get rebreeders. Again, it doesn't matter what number you, I pray, you know, just in case you have some delivery that is mission that evolves, you get stuff in water, underground, um, water, if you want to get, it is a lot cheaper option than a scuba suit, which is 150k, this one's 5,000 bucks, it works a lot of times, voila, I prefer you get this one. Now, next thing we're going to be talking about is cars. Now, cars are very, very useful in this game. And most seconds.
So, just say you're level 1, you don't know what vehicle to buy. I prefer you not to buy a vehicle off the rip. Now, if, like, in the first 10 levels. Because it's not, it's no point. A lot of times, you're not going to really be making your money off vehicles. Oh, sorry. They're, they're just not useful that early. Again, that's something that is kind of a luxury gift. Um, but... I will tell you kind of the five, if you're going to buy a vehicle at a low level, I prefer you get a bike. Um, again, cars you can get over time, but a bike could be, is useful. Again, you can get a car, I'm not saying it off, but I will tell you what vehicles to buy. So first thing is we're going to kind of head to, I just hunt all over the map. Our travel transport. Let's talk vehicles, what you need to buy. So, we're going to go South San Andreas. Again, Legend of Mars, so you don't have to look at. Also, if you have your Link Social Club account, get your free LG RH8. Again, this is probably what, again, you have the free Social Club account. Get that. Um, I kind of won't really tell what vehicles you might want to get off here. Because it's hard to tell. Um, but if it's on, no, it's not on here. But just prefer you get a vehicle that, again, it's a free car. That's probably what you take. It's not a bad car. Um, but if you're going to buy something that's a little bit cheap, um, you know, if you don't have that social club, like, I prefer you get one or two bikes. Um, this is your preferred choice. The Dinka Akuma, very good bike. Does does not do wheelies, but is very good, very fast. Turning is very sl um, smooth. Nine thousand bucks, or if you want to spend an extra six thousand, get the baddie, or you, you know you get the special variant too. But get the baddie eight hundred one. This one has wheelie capabilities, also really fast. Prefer you get a bike. Um, it's gonna again gonna be really necessity. And that's kind of where I'm going to start. Again, you can vehicles, you can decide what to buy. But I would not really spend a lot of money if you're kind of a new player on vehicles. Because you really don't need it. Um, but, again, that's your choice. I'm not really going to hinder you um, to what you should and shouldn't buy. Now... One vehicle I want uh, you need to buy. This will be done um, after heist. If I can find it. Oh, it might be lower down. But it's the Karen Kuruma. Oh, it's on sale. Good thing to get it now. Um, the Kuruma is on sale for a free on 15k. A lot of cheap option. This will, I'll mention later why you um, kind of want to get a Kuruma. So, 315k, this thing is bulletproof. Again, the windows is only you can shoot from. This thing is hard. Again, it takes explosive. I'm not expecting it to be explosive proof. But this thing, if you're getting shot by bullets, preferably in missions with a lot of enemies, I prefer you use this. Again, unfortunately, you cannot um, throw explosives out of it. Um, but you can shoot your AP pistol. And um, other weapons I told you about that can be fired from this car. Prefer you get this one free on 15k. Again, it's going to be returning to 525. So it's a little bit cheaper now. Again, if we get this game, try to get the free on 15k real quick and get that. Again, it's a card that you you can get. Again, it's oh it's, yeah 525. So get that car, but don't get it immediately. And because it will be more expensive. So, again. So, next thing we're going to be talking about is heist. And we'll head over there. Okay, so I mentioned about vehicles and stuff. Um, Again, those are cheap options. Um, Just, if you're going to get vehicles, worry about the first three. Don't worry about the, the current armor yet because you have to wait for that. Or just wait for that. So, we're going to talk about luxury. So, level 12, you unlock heist. That is when you, you'll be able to host a heist. And that's 
when you'll be able to make some real cash that is over 100k. But if you are a lower level who is not 1 to 12, this is kind of how um, I prefer you to make your money. Go to quick jobs. Now jobs you preferably want to play. Anything with double XP. Um, again, doesn't really matter in um, town. I don't know what double XP is at the moment, but double XP is going to be based a lot of times off of anniversary modes, which is the list. These are going to be kind of really hard to find if you kind of do this. So you kind of kind of do a quick job anniversary mode. You probably find it a lot easier. Um, but kind of keep up with the Rockstar Newswire and see what jobs are double XP. Um, what what game modes are double XP? But if you don't like those game modes, prefer you do contact missions. I'd do some contact missions, make a decent amount of money. Do the lower ones over and over again. I know it might be boring. Um, peer pressure is a very popular one to do. Um, but even you know, do some contact missions is really helpful. The cases you can do Lamar missions too. I think you a lot. You should unlock it at level 5 too. Again, you lock a lot of these at level 5. Again, you can also get some ones that are level 1. Uh, repo jobs. I prefer you not to do those yet. Um, actually, they're all level 6. Uh, but if you're going to do that, these kind of jobs where contact missions, I prefer you do it through looking, um, not looking for your post, but. Do it for your quick job menu. Go here. Go all the way down to content missions. It's a little bit lower because it gets a lot of new content. Do contact mission, Lamar mission. Lamar missions are going to be kind of more complicated for a new player because it's kind of a little bit harder. Plus, but do a contact mission. If you're someone by yourself, don't worry about. It. You can do a lot of these by do a lot of the contact missions by yourself. And also, if you're going to do races, if you guys also want to help boost your overall stats as kind of the progression bars again don't worry about the progression bars so far uh, you know stamina strength shooting style flying and driving you unlock a lot of these over time uh, stamina is pretty easy to get shooting you're going to do a lot of shooting that's kind of where the game is based off if you keep doing heist that will increase uh, driving that will do the same flying uh, Stealth straight, those are not really important, but again, you probably want to, again, if you want to do these, you guys can do this when you have free time or are waiting for something, but this way to do. Uh, stun races, I prefer you to do. These are considerably the most popular ones. I do like to do this in my free time, where you do stun races. Very well known. Again, you can do these other races, but you're not going to find anything. Um, again, the heist we'll talk about later. So, let's get into house fine. So, that's kind of what I do. So, get to level 12. Preferably, tr don't worry about the level. But, if you get there on level 12, this is what I want you to buy. Now, don't buy, this is going to be important. Don't buy any properties beforehand. And, this is why I meant, don't get a vehicle. Again, the vehicles I mentioned, yeah, those are what you want. Um, you know, if you want to get one early, that's fine, but you have to kind of upgrade. Make sure you put your tracker and coverage on there, which it should already come with. Um, don't steal vehicle and kind of put it in the garage, no point. Just constantly, if you need a car, steal the vehicle, just head to your destination, whatever the chance is. Um, also, if you do stun races, you're not, again, you're going to have a hard time because there's a lot of upgraded cars. Just kind of do a lot of stun races, try to get better at um, driving that's gonna be really important but get to the point go to high don't buy anything kind of and these um, actually low end and medium these are pointless you know six car garages you don't need it not really a um, purpose with it so we're gonna talk about apartments so you can start a high up with any low end apartment now don't buy these 10 car garages unless you need room so any low end apartment. Oh, sorry, high end low money apartment. So, 200k is going to be lease. Now, the difference between 
why there's a 5,000 buck difference here is because of what floor you get on. Again, if you want us a higher view, you can go do that. Not going to hesitate you there. Not going to stop you there. But if you kind of get to 200k early, you know, you have none. You know, you just want the urge to do heist. Feel free to get this one. Um, this is kind of what everybody owns. But in my honest opinion, I would prefer you to get one in the middle of the city. And try to get these auto street apartments. These are 17k more. You can really um, do this a lot earlier. Um, you know, you can wait a little bit. Wait like a, do a couple more missions or something like that. You can make 17k or 23k. Prefer you get these. You get a 10 car garage. It's right in the center of the city. Which, again, you look at the map here. A lot of the downtown area. There's going to be a lot of missions kind of around here. It's a very short drive. Um, again, there's a ton of prison, you know, prison break, main labs. A lot of stuff could be in the south. Um, not a lot goes over here. Again, maybe there's a couple. There's no submissions right over here. So this is a little bit farther. Um, drive. Again, then, like, you know, Pacific Standard Bank, you go from the here, you go here, and then you kind of go right up here. But this one, you just have a straight drive to the bank. Again, again that's for a future reference, low tip. Prefer you not to get these. Um, again, if you really in a rush, I prefer you get these. I'm sorry, I don't know why I said don't get these, but be a little bit in a rush of money. Before you get this, 200, 205k, not a bad price, but. In my opinion, I think these are kind of worth more investments since the more convenient location. Although it could be farther from stuff up north, at least it doesn't take that long to get higher. All you do is get out here, go here, and then go two, three streets over, and you're already on the highway. Um, as here, you kind of have to go here, and then you have to merge right in here, which a lot of missions do take some north. What I know there's only I think one useful mission is if you go to Pacific Standard Signal. You spawn here, you ought to make get yeah, on this highway, which you have to take. They're kind of doing it this way, but again, you're close to the highway. So, I prefer you get this. And now we're going to kind of talk about heist. So, level 12, I prefer you not get to heist. Now, we're going to kind of talk about the heist mission and what one tip I got for you for everyone. And also, cuts I prefer you to use. So, the fleet good job. Pretty simple heist. Just steal a deposit box. Now one thing you want to get. Again, you can be the driver. The getaway guy is a um there's two jobs. One is a driller, one's a driver. Driver is pretty easy, just drive to the location and kind of hold hostage. Um kind of hold the hostage hostage. If that makes any sense. But hold them hostage while they're acting as hostages. So you just just have to imitate them. Uh, preferably just use a shotgun and just keep shooting. And the driller is a lot more complicated job. Um, they have to do a hacking portion, which, again, you can... If you do a scope out mission, if you want to be the passenger and you let the other guy drive, if he has more experience, so you can try out the hack and see if you're comfortable, uh, comfortable with it. Again, the hacking part will be a lot harder to... Um, then the setup one. And that's all I gotta say. It would just be a lot harder for the setup. Then the setup one. And then drilling, just kind of give you a good tip. If you're a new driller, just take it slow. Don't worry about time. Um, you know, just find a groove. Don't pull, push the left stick forward. And don't like kind of hold, just ease it in. Don't worry about Lester bitching at you. He's not going to matter. This is a heist. I prefer you um, and replayability. I prefer you to replay this one. Again, it's easy money if you kind of, on a short time, you know, you got to go to a family dinner or something like that. And you got like 30 minutes, 30, 40 minutes, get this heist started up. Um, it's going to cost 11k each, 12k each time. But, you know, at least you get some money in a way. Um, next one is the prison break. This is a heist that is very common among people um, today as they kind of look through looking for group posts, which I'll mention why that's looking for group posts on porn. But again, this one, you can't really do, again, this is solo. So you 
what I mean by slow money is you kind of just have no help. Um, you're not going to make friends out of this. Also, this is money making, but preferably this is for a solo player. Prison break. If you want to do this, if you, you're not interested in heist, you can go um, do any size. You know, you don't want to have a hard time finding people. Um, prison break, very easy. Preferably, if you want to ask to be the prisoner. And also, important tip, ask the prison guard, um, who was going to be the prison officer for the job, to drop you a AR and a, a LMG. Because you're only going to spawn with an AP pistol. So ask to drop LMG and AR. At least you have weapons in there. You can stand a fine chance against the new guards and... But again, try to be careful with your um, weapons um, use because again, you have a little amount of ammo. He's not gonna, the prison guard is gonna drop, um, prison officer is not gonna drop ammo constantly. So again, don't expect constant help from that. Um, that's kind of all to say again. I know I'm talking, I'm gonna be talking about solo money, um, a little bit. But again, you're gonna be a solo player entering these heists. There's no way. Um, unless you find a good crew, but again, you're going to be starting this house by yourself. You're not going to have anyone who's going to, unless you find, you know, you can do all the subs running down, but you're going to not have any one beforehand join you. Humane Labs, this one is considerably another one you can also find looking for group posts. Again, two, three, and five. Um, Pacific Standard Job, that's another one you find. Humane Labs raids, a lot of times it ends up very easy on um, the setups are a little bit tedious it's not those are not the um, kind of clean easy setups then you can kind of expect from the fleeker job and prison break a little bit more that uh, cool not you know takes a lot longer time um again a lot of people get stuck in the deliver emp thing i preferably <laughs> Um, if you're doing the delivery, the EMP setup, which you have to, the, have to deliver the EMP in, uh, which you got from the dirt setup, preferably, this is where you kind of make a liquor for group pros, or because you're gonna have to find people with uh, mics, find free players with uh, mics, preferably get some expertise in there, and just kind of have you as a low player, low low player, just sit back. You kind of learn how to do it. Just follow follow the two snipers or three guys who are going to be kind of doing all the killing and then deliver the weapon in there, the EMP weapon. And voila. Um, the heist isn't that hard. Preferably keep, um, if you're going to be a ground team member, although a lot of times as a low player, you're going to be running a... Um, you're probably going to be the gunner of the chopper. So, again, that's, that's a horrible case. But you can also be ground team. Let the guy who, if you got a guy who's expert at this, let him kind of run for it. Preferably wear the super heavy armor that is given to you. It's not a, you can also do this as a player save outfits. That's also going to be important for Pacific Standard Heist. Um, before you get the guy with the super heavy armor so he can take a lot of bullets damage just make sure don't put on player safe outfits don't put it on leader choice outfits just put it on you know let, them, let the players choose series a funding the setups this is um a heist that i not really consider worth playing a replay um uh, but a good tip for series a funding if you are, have already bought the karuma this is only going to be important for the first part. Um, if you have if you have the Karuma unlocked, make sure you kind of have it before you, um, before you load in. Just choose as your vehicle. Have everybody get in, uh, have you and probably one other player use the Karuma at the start when the NPCs are raiding the warehouse. Um, makes it a lot easier. Gets the first part done faster. But again, you can. You don't really need a crew for that part. Also, what I prefer to use is a weaponized Tampa. Um, but that's something that is going to take time since you have 
the specific thing you have to unlock um is from the bunker and it's it's hard to it's research and you don't want to do that again you have to make we're making money not projects um then just kind of deliver the vehicle in the vans a vans preferably if you're gonna be a van driver just make sure you have your armor and stack thing open since you could probably take a lot of um bullets out position again this one you can also do player save out i think you can do player save outfits on this one if you can wear a super heavy armor um which i will show you later uh and then pacific standard job this is the main bread and butter heist do the setups um preferably get some expert people for the setups as there will be one two subs that will kind of be difficult actually we'll go two and a half um there's two really easy subs bands and bikers those are really easy you can get those done in like 10 minutes i think you get that on one try but signal preferably it's not easy just take a boat head to abby shorts and take them out and just lose the cops just at that um preferably you park um there's jet skis so right in the you know the highway that leads up as you look onto the left you can see the military um go look top left the military base looks like a i think you can see it as i'm gonna kind of zoom in but the military base the jet skis you will be taken will spawn right over here. So it will spawn right by the pier. Right down here. Don't take those. Preferably just drive up the Great Ocean Highway. Go up here. Go past the military base. And right under here. Just right under this bridge is a beach. There will be four jet skis that will spawn. Or two. I don't know how many. Take those jet skis. Head over to the island. Uh, which doesn't show up on my map but it's it's in this general area you can i think you can see it take that um and preferably save if you guys don't die save the car over here preferably a armored car or just a car that has bulletproof tires take it lose the cops easy mission um hack is a very again very annoying mission if you have idiots but the hack one, if you're a new player, just be, again, wear a outfit like this. Now, I'll tell you, this is the outfit that I will want you to get. If I can find it. So, heavy. This is a super heavy armor suit. It can take a lot of bullets. Um, Again, you can also add on the regular armor just to take more. But, again, different. You take a lot more bullets, but you move a lot slower, which I would take any day because I would rather not die in five bullets then die at you know i'll take slower speed than dying a lot faster than you know, as okay uh con convoy is another one that's a pretty complicated setup uh it will be right over here by this bridge preferably what you want to do is have a sniper go up to that you know the ridge uh which you, you know you can see the curve line connecting that bridge so like the curved road Someone get up there, take out the chopper, and then just kind of spray down. Make sure there's a decent amount of protection on the bridge. Shoot them out. Shoot the guys out. Um, this one, just don't put this one on hard difficulty. Put the put all these setups on normal difficulty, whatever chances, unless um, only high going hard, subs going normal. Fleek a job, I would prefer, prefer you put the high subs on hard because they're not that hard. But every one, if you're kind of a new player, just put out normal just to be safe. And then get the vehicle, deliver it to Grape Scene, and boom. Now for the heist. Pacific Standard Heist. There's a couple methods you can do. There's a lot of cheat methods. Um, and again, as a new player, just set yourself as a hacker. The reason you want to set yourself so as a hacker is there's, um, you will be collecting all the money. Um, you get you collect R one point two five million, collect the money, just send the bank. Um, you know there's gonna be a gunfight outside. Preferably once your crew member says, "Oh, it's clear outside," just go outside and get back into the bank because there will be cops. Kind of sometimes cops spawn on there. Um, 
as one player who has experience, so someone like me, will make a run to the bikes, blow them, uh, blow the bikes up. So there's a specific checkpoint that will say follow, um, head to Rad Canyon or follow the getaway route. As the bikes are destroyed, it's a, it's somewhat broken, but again, it's a checkpoint. And then the guy kills himself, and you're spawning at the bikes with all the money. Um, the hack and the hacker doesn't have to leave the bank at any point, so that's why. Um, demolition, crowd control, they have a lead bank. One or two, uh, mostly a lot of times one runner goes wearing this super heavy armor outfit. It takes, if it's effective, two to three minutes to get to that bikes and do what you need to do. Um, but, again, that's something you kind of have to learn with experience. You probably understand it once you get up to a higher level and you kind of do the heist more and more times. But that's something you kind of don't have to worry about when you're level, uh, at that point, maybe 20 or 30. So that's all I gotta say about that. Um, then two methods. You can either the preferred. There's one you can do it under the map bike glitch, which again you won't know, and that's some I prefer you not do because a lot of times, if you do the under map bike glitch, you're probably gonna have to send the back of another guy who knows the glitch, and you'll lose money. And since you're the hacker, you're gonna lose money. Or the other method that I prefer you do. Is the ride van method so you shoot the hostages it spawns a ride van um, it will spawn a right and you know you did this right when a guy hits the buzzer um, it's the buzzer from underneath the teller desk the tellers and that's where I prefer you just kind of do it there just kind of you know that's when you did the glitch right it was spawn right there. but again you're not gonna deal with it because you're not gonna leave the bank at first again pretty easy um clear out because again your experienced players would just kind of fire rpgs and just shoot them and you're gonna wear a super heavy armor outfit a lot of times so they'll be alive at that point and then so i gotta kind of have to say for the heist um and a riot van will kind of sorry also with the riot van you don't take the the followed route like you know you go from the east side and you head to mount chiliad you would just take the west side so like you know the military base road the great ocean highway all the way down to the Rand canyon which again which is where i mentioned the abby schwarzman mission kind of a little bit down the river get in the boat easy money you make sure as if you're carrying the money get near the front seat or the back it doesn't matter what seat you get just don't drive and make sure you hold down the, hold down the a button so you don't lose any money and you can probably have a very good chance. Probably only lose. Uh, you can you can have a good chance of losing only zero uh, zero dollars or or thirteen or twenty six k, which isn't that bad. Now for the heist, um, I'm just sorry if I'm moving out of the room, but for cuts, I forgot to mention it. Leak a job, seventy dirty. I prefer you get a lot of the money. Again, you're gonna be a new player. If it's the first time, I prefer you just get seventy dirty. And then maybe if you do it again, just do 60-40 just to be a nice guy again. But 70-30. The rest of the heist, this is your preferred choice. You can either be a really nice guy and do 25% uh, for all four players. Again, if you do this. So Prison Break, for example, you get 125k. You paid 40k for a setup, so that's what will equal 85k in profit. But you can also do 40%. Um... Again, you mean you can guys can defi you guys can figure out the money number. Pacific standard job twenty five uh, percent. You can do three hundred twelve thousand five hundred. That's how much you get if you do it that way. Um, series A again, that's five hundred five k. That's like I don't know one twenty six. Um, and then Humane Labs that's six forty. I'm um, probably six one hundred sixty k, a one twenty five k for series eight. I think I said maybe I said twelve thousand five hundred, but perfectly do that. Prison, um, or you can do forty twenty 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 again. You done um, you done through the whole thing. You went through the whole heist. Dealing with the setups, you didn't get paid for setups. Forty twenty twenty, you got a lot more money in the profit. Also, a lot of the players who join won't disagree with that. Gain 
You can also be a nutter. You can be more greedy. Just keep it at regular cuts, 55, 15, 15, 15. But a lot of guys just kind of do it at 40, 20, 20, 20. Or the 25% all four players. Again, it's your choice. Again, a lot of money to pay out. And if you're going to do heist for replay, I prefer you do Fleeka and Pacific Standard. Um, Fleeka, again, if you have a quick 40 minutes. But again, this is not the one. Again, that's only if you have that, you know, just you want to do it for fun. You just don't. But, you know, you want to get money quick. You have a limited time period before your mom kicks you off the game. That's the case. And Series A, prefer you not to do this one. The subs are really tedious. Humane Labs, tedious. Prison Break, you can possibly do this one, but I, and at that point, don't worry. Pacific Standard Job, you probably want to redo this. There's a couple glitches. Um, if it still works, you can do a replay glitch on it. Um, I won't like the. Um, you can do a replay glitch where you can just do the heist over and over and over and over again as a host. Though, I prefer you not to do that. Just kind of pay the sub cars and do the heist over and over again. But that's all I gotta say. And looking for group posts. This is enough. Um, before we get to all the businesses, looking for group posts. This is very important. Um, if you're gonna do looking for group posts, this is where you want to abuse it. You can do doomsday heist, regular heist like this. Um, doomsday bunker. Um, which if I was gonna give you a preferred location, if you want to spend your money on doomsday bunker, this is gonna be further on in line. Uh, let me go to foreclosures. If you're gonna get a doomsday bunker, you can either get this one. This one's not bad. It's somewhere in the it's high millions place. I think high millions, low twos. This one's not a bad location. You're very close to the highway. Not bad. Or um, not location. Pleto Bay. This is only useful if you want to do Act Two again. There's also a sale on this, so if you really just you know low on money, you have the money saved up from Pacific Standard, you can use this. Take um, you know, if you want to do Act Two over and over again, but we're not going to kind of talk about that one because it's not really important. Uh, Ford Zancudo is an um, like a Zancudo. Ford Zancudo, that's what I'm kind of call it. Is another good one to buy. Very um, nice location. And also, um, kind of the rest of them, they're fine. Again, there's a decent amount of cheaper options. Again, Pleto Bay is going to be cheapest. Looks like it's a big sale on it right now. Looks like all the bunkers are half off. So, if you're a Christmas guy, I'll probably just upload. I'll probably just upload now because you're a Christmas guy. Um, before you get these on sale, before they kind of disappear and you have to pay the full price. Again, they're going to be a lot in the millions range. Um, one location I prefer you not to get a bunker. Oh, sorry, a facility. Get this one. You only have one, as from here. If you can see this little line, you got one little road. I just kind of trace with the arrow. You got one little road here, and that's all your entry point. There's no point to doing that. Um, you're gonna have to return to some missions in your facility. I prefer you just get the this one in the highway, not bad location. Um. Or the Polito Bay one if you plan to do Act 2. And this one you're also close to the highway. Though it's a lot farther trip. I prefer you not to get those. Or Lags and Kudo. Those are free. I would prefer you get as bunkers. Um, also don't get this one. This one's annoying to get. Because you only have two ways. And it's just a long road. And you're stuck in a reservoir. So um, that's kind of how to talk about that. And for Diamond Casino Heist. These don't matter. Again these arcades. Don't. Um, as if you got Twitch Prime membership, you get these. Uh, you get this one for. F uh, if I can point on it, sorry. Um, you get this one for free if you have a Twitch Prime membership. You get this one for free. I know it says one point two free five million for me. That's because it don't. So, but if you don't have that, just don't worry about it. Get the ones in the city. Just save your money. Get the ones in the city because there's gonna be a lot of setups down here. A lot of the prep and submissions going to be down here. There's not too many um, up north. Maybe there's like one or two, but not really worth it. If you want to get arcade. Now, I'm preferring you not to get arcade. Because the heist, I'm not a big fan of the arcade heist. It's not really worth the money unless you have extra, you know, 
this is some where if you want to do this arcade heist, you preferably get it later on. Like if you're like level 200 to 300, just something that is not really useful in the first 100 levels. Um, Doomsday, if you get done with the first heist, you get um, you get a lot of good stuff with the Doomsday stuff too. Um, but I'm not kind of really going to explain the Doomsday heist I'm over, but I, you know, do I want to? Um, but it's just not really useful. Um, again, okay, it's not very really useful, but next thing we're going to be talking about is businesses. Now, the next thing we're going to be talking about is businesses. We're going to kind of split into two, CEO and Mix. Now, Mix is going to be MC-based businesses or ones that can do CEO and MC work or MC. So we're going to start with the CEO side. There's two businesses in, um, incorporating this. Cargo and import and export. Now, we're going to... First, I'm going to tell you what office to buy, as this is always important. Um, so if you want to buy office, you can go to here, go to Dynasty Exclusive. This is... I uh, sorry, Executive. Yeah, it does. Um, get Maze Bank West. Um, the Delon Bank West, not really good. I don't know. It's literally right across across the street. I, was, I just have a little kid in me. Um, across. Um, so they're half off right now. Five on K, really good investment. Um, if you kind of don't want to worry about vehicles and all that stuff, or that doomsday high CF. Before you get this, 500K, buy it. Get yourself a garage too if you have um, the money. Um, as the garages are really useful. It's a 20 car garage. If the garage is on sale, get that. Um, as we're going to kind of look into this. Again, don't really care what. As we're kind of get in a renovate session. It doesn't really matter what you do with this. Again, you can design this as much as you want, but if you kind of want to keep it simple, um, again, these will kind of cost some money. Gun locker, safe accommodation, I can't change that. Um, Gun locker, I think it's very important to do since you can just kind of, if you have some unnecessary weapons, which again, I didn't tell you to buy, but you decided to buy it anyways, you can just kind of customize it um, so you don't have certain weapons showing up in your weapon wheel, just so you can have the same one. Um, safe, not really useful, it's just something that looks extra cool, accommodation that's just bad, and all that. Decor, I don't really, again, it doesn't matter what you do with decor, you can keep it the basic. Um, but, again, that's some, again, so if you want to spend money on decor, but it's something that's, uh, you like HGTV, not really what you need, unless, H yeah, if you're not HGTV, like, you don't really need it. Um, these don't really matter. Um, so next thing we're kind of head to is garage. Garage is something you can buy again. You if you don't have your ten cars filled up, um, again if you. This is something you can buy later on. You can again twenty cars per floor. You can buy two extra ones if you want to. Um, these will cost extra money as, it's very expensive and, one point six million. You can buy a custom auto shop too. Um, these are just. Um, you can also add the sign to here. Um, these are just four options. I'm not again very useful if you don't drive into uh, Los Santos Customs. But again, you do have some limitations. It doesn't have everything, which I noticed. Um, and if you have a Benny's vehicle, um, not really useful because you can't use Benny vehicle Benny vehicles in here. You only have to go to Benny um, on the shop. So. This is something that you can get extra if you feel like you don't want to leave your apartment, um, your office to um, upgrade your car, but not very um, practical. Yeah, it's your choice, but again, I prefer you not to do it, as again, you're going to try to make save as much and make as much money as possible. So, the businesses is where I'll have the bang for your buck. Um, so, we're going to kind of talk about special vehicle work. This is something you can do as extra. I'm not... Again, you can do these um, missions. You do, um, again, you can make some money off this, get some uh, discounts. Also, you do, you kind of do as much as you can do, get discounts on it, I think. No, I don't remember. Special cargo. Sleece early. So, I only have one. Um, I have a 16 crate warehouse. 
Now this is I'm gonna be honest. If don't buy this, there's maybe if you're gonna buy it, I prefer you not to get something not big. As this is solo, don't get a larger house. This is gonna be a waste of money. It will be such a time hassle. Again, it stores a hundred and eleven crates. That's great. You're gonna need multiple people for that. That's the problem. And again, you're not if you're doing a solo, you're not gonna have help. So if you're gonna buy one, just get a small one. I don't really care about location on this one. This one may matter, but if you're gonna get like a cheaper option, um, these were kind of arranged, and uh, you get you get one south. But like, yeah, don't get these ones. Not really. Just get the cheapest one you can find. I think this one's pretty cheap. I don't know how I forgot how much the cost was, but again, get a 16 crate. This is some that is a. If you want to try it out, this is where if you want to try it out. So you buy these, you buy the crates, you collect the crates, it gets thrown anywhere else. Every crate is worth ten thousand bucks. So you sell it one hundred sixty k. I know this one you're probably gonna need multiple people. If you want to try it out, you know, pay eight thousand um, bucks. Get two crates, it'll give you twenty twenty k. You can also have special missions off this where you get you have a product, a cargo that is worth a hundred k. Just one package is worth 100k, but it's a lot harder mission and barely pops up. But if you want to try it, just um, the the reason I don't like this business is you have to take it's not progression based, and it takes forever. First thing you barely make any money off this, like ten thousand bucks per crate, and you have sixteen crates. Even these hundred ones, it just takes. I I just don't want to spend like three to four hours getting crates over and over and over again. Just, just for not even that much. Like, I just don't like this business. I thought it was a great idea. Um, but I just didn't want to take the time to get these crates every time and then just have to deal with opposition and that fun. Again, if your guy is interested in crates, really. Um, but for the solo player, I prefer not to really get this. Not the best idea. Um, but I'll tell you what to get. Vehicle car. This one is variant. Um, forty vehicle. Don't worry about the vehicle numbers because you can s make a lot of money. So off this, you can make a lot more money off one vehicle than off one crate, and you don't have to pay anything a lot of times. So there's free options you can do. Actually, free vehicle levels. So you got small, medium, high. High value. So there's again different values on it. Now, first thing I want to do is tell you what warehouse to get. La Mesa. This is the cheapest one. Everybody has this. I I know it might sound this morning when everybody has this, but it's the cheapest one in my opinion. Um, a lot of these are very heavily expensive. Um, at least in Ireland, I prefer not to get this one. Don't get um. I know this one's pretty close to highway. It is a it's a pain to get off it because again you don't know what the hell the exit is. Again, I might know where it is, but I don't like the not for you one. Um, just don't get the ones that are like like this one again. Not really useful. This one doesn't um seem bad. It just if you don't like the preferred location, this one's not bad. It's really kind of expensive. It's close to the main road, so um this one's not bad either. But again, this is the one you want to get. It's always it's the cheapest one. Somewhere in the millions. Get, um, again, very close to the highway. There might be Vagos members here, but as what the pro the, pro the professor did, shot out um, uh, delivering vehicles, just randomly shot, just to test it, and the, the Vagos lit him up. And he just he said, "Oh, don't buy this warehouse. Don't buy this vehicle warehouse because you can get shot by Vagos." That dude purposely shot his gun out of it. He like he did, like they don't get provoked. If you sh like, really, are you gonna? Who's gonna? Why are you gonna shoot out the thing immediately? Like, why are you gonna shoot your gun? Just you just test it and just say, oh, it's not bad, it's bad, it's bad. But I don't know. It's just get this one. Now, there's three things. You get, again, you guess low, medium, and high end vehicle. The high ends, um, as you can say, pay 80k, um, 100k. Medium, there's some, uh, medium. 60 
and then low end there is some 0.5 now if you want to choose an option that will now this free option you do pink slip non mod um you do a pink slip option where you don't have to pay any upfront like any customization costs there's a medium where you just have like a medium where you have limited options you can't fully customize the car and then high end which is considered the highest amount you have to pay like just to pay for the vehicle to be delivered but it's worth it because again you source it um it, so just say for a small one there's 7.5k you pay for the full the always go maximum like go for what gives you the maximum power you pay some you pay stuff which is 7.5 you get 30k very worth it no destroy car again you lose 7.5 but you get 30k in profit for a high end you get 100k in profit it's just going to say 100k in value that's the value you want to worry about but again you're going to pay 20k um just to pay for it so it's 80 so minimum gets 80k profit but that's a lot for one car you get every 20 minutes and the worst you know missions are pretty easy um that's all i gotta kind of say about that also one more thing i kind of want to mention as a v low level if you don't have to see your office you can also do something when you have 50k now if you have 50k in your bank at one point you can do this vip work now let me kind of get out of this um, apartment office to and also a good thing about buying an office is you get free snacks um, as I'm kind of buy now every office comes with free snacks if you don't want to go to the convenience store if you don't want to pay money for snacks you can go here every time it will give you full amount too and the P, P and Q's if you ever loan it um, so okay, it's gonna take a while to buy but you also do come more things like um, as personal concierge you can Pegasus Concierge, you can call in any kind of heavier vehicles. These cost money. I prefer not to do this. Just don't really worry about this. Uh, but you can also call from there, from the desk. You can also um, pay for your impounded vehicle that you don't have to go back and pay for yourself. You just pay a thousand bucks. And voila, you get your vehicle back. Um, I don't have... Not really worth it, just might as well just pay the 250k, 250 bucks and steal from the impound or just let it go destroyed and whatever the case is. So, since we're on the roof, VIP work. So, again, you're at 50k, whatever amount, you know, it doesn't have to be, in, you have 50k overall, you can do CO missions. So, the ones I prefer you to do, um... If you have a yacht, um, if you're going to be AFK for 10 minutes, and if you have a yacht, this is, I, I guess it's not, um, you can do privacy prevention. Um, you just be a yacht, send a yacht, send a yacht, have no one really chases after you, you get a free 30k. But again, that's, that's only if you have a yacht, and I prefer you not to get a yacht, not really worth the buck. Again, I spent it because I wanted it. But yeah, sites here is not a bad mission to do either. Um, it's a lot of hacking missions, very easy hacking missions. Um, it's the, the one you have to line up the bar, the letters, and the number match. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing here. Um, the number match. You do those, find packages around the map. Prefer you get a helicopter for this one if you don't have enough for the buzzard. Buzzard is another one you want to buy. Um, it's sitting in a million or two million range. If you have the money saved up by a buzzard, very useful. You can also, great thing about it is if you want to see your vehicle, the buzzard is free to take. And, you know, if you never need it. So you don't have to pay plenty for pay a hefty amount of money for it. Um, did that one. Secular search, not really useful. Not this. Again, this is, no one does this. Um, this one, not really good. This one you can do. Again, very easy. Just take a package over and deliver it. Um, I prefer you just to do these. Um, Hand Hunter is a very popular one if you have the Buzzard or Oppressor Mark II. Oppressor Mark II is another Oppressor vehicles. You can get the Mark One or Two. The Two is a lot more expensive, and you have to buy a terabyte for it. Um, so if you're cheap on money, you can just buy Oppressor Mark One um, along with MLC, and you get 
nice vehicle that fires missiles. Flying bike that fires missiles. Um, Hand Hunter is for one. Again, if you have the buzzer too, you can also do this. Um, since it'll be a lot easier. A lot easier. Um, the rest of these, again, they'll pay a lot of money, but Hand Hunter is pretty quick if you have multiple people. Again, if it's as a solo player, this one's not bad too. It's very quick. Uh, that's kind of kind of what I have for CO missions, and we're gonna kind of talk about MC based ones, as we will kind of be heading all over the map. Now, the next two businesses we're gonna kind of be talking about is these are kind of close. Uh, again, these are close um, in location, so that's kind of one dude. But again, I'm gonna be kind of uh, flying to those locations anyways. Unfortunately, is Smuggler Run and Bunker. Now, Smuggler Run is very interesting. Very. Um, again, this is similar, very similar to CO crates. Um, and again, t I'm gonna be honest. Still not much. You money. First thing you gotta get crates. And the worst part is you got fly plane. Um. But if you're if you you like planes overall, you know you you like flying, then this might be an interest. But again, this is not really what I prefer to do. Um, as for sourcing, there's every supply is worth different. Now I'll give you um heads up, every one is worth a different value. But if you prefer to do it. Focus on medical supplies, narcotics, and jewelry. I'm sorry, arts. These pay the highest amount per stock, per source. Again, you can select whatever type you want. Um, but if you do for one, you, just, you know, there's 50 here. You got a lot more money if you just do it for one product. So you get 50 out of 50 in here. You get a lot more money in the sell our cargo then if you do it just like do it out of random so you just you know one one source you do narcotics and another one you do tobacco and then you do animals and then you do chemicals it is good to focus on one of them just focus on one category um, but as a solo player this might not be worth it but if again if there's a chance they do if you're a solo player they do drop multiple um there's multiple cargo you can steal off one source. Um, so medical supplies again. Just if you're gonna do it, right this. But in my honest opinion, not really worth the money. Um, as this is kind of some of the crates, you have to take time to source it. It takes forever. You, um, good thing is you don't have to pay for it. I think that's a big advantage. Is you don't, unlike the CEO crates, you don't have to pay for it. And that's going to be very important. Again, also, this is where you store a lot of your planes. You, you have a plane garage. Um, instead of having to use Pegasus anymore, um, you can just head over here and get your plane, helicopter, whatever chance, you, whatever you have to get that you need. Um, but that's kind of only use. Otherwise, not really special in any case. And prefer you get the Forts Included one. Again, all these um, go here. Go back to foreclosure. That's War Stocks are on page. Go to foreclosure, Maze Bank. They're gonna be up here. Doesn't matter which ones you get. Again, there's free hangers. Um, it doesn't matter which one you get. Get the cheapest one possible. I think this one's the cheapest. The one on far right. Air. Now the reason I got the the. Um, the Forts Included one is first thing you get free access to the, the military base. You don't walk in there and get shot. Um, when you get, you know, you get this one, but this, and also, you're gonna be delivering a lot. Of, you're gonna deliver all your product to this one specific hangar. Um, which the ones in the city, which I just um, pointed my arrow at, that is not where you want to go. Uh, because of the fact that there's a lot of the player population. You know how people are hungry for kills um, with the homing launchers and oppressors? They're gonna be have they have a less likely chance to go up north 
then head south, then be in the south portion of Los Santos. They're going to be a less chance to have, head into Blaine County. Um, and that's where, what is the reason why I bought hanging first thing. No military, you can do whatever you want. The highest thing you can get in the military base is a two star. If you do something at the start, you won't, and if you shoot, you know, shoot a military guy, you only get a two star. You don't get a four star. Four star, you get four star when entering the base, which is crazy. But the next place we're going to be heading to is Bunker. And this is where um, a lot of the solar work is going to be done. This is where, if you have a, like a time period to usually play, this is very good. Very, very good. Sorry if I'm yawning. Um, Again, yeah, this is live um, at Twitch slash VipersXBL. Um, as you say, I have no problem here. I want to restart my business. Um, but, again, very, very useful. So, this is kind of what I consider this whole thing. So, just say you have three hours of free time. You want to start something up. You know, three hours, you got the morning. Just say 8 to 11. This, um, so what you want to do is I'm going to kind of restart my business. So, 23 million made off this business. Very sus. So, first thing, don't sell to Blake County. You don't get the same price. Um, Los Santos is pretty good. Um, the research... Again, the fourth for the research, you have to. Yeah, also, you know, you, you ha it has to be done via research. You can't get these products. You can't buy them. You can't choose the option. Um, and these are coming out of random. So I prefer you not to do research. Um, again, there's a lot of stuff you can get out of it, but um, if you're gonna kind of do get it, get some like some of these rounds. These ones are pretty useful. Um, armor piercing, explosive, incendiary. Um, I don't know what this, these rounds are, I forgot. Um, attachments really don't matter. Um, again, look at how much pointless stuff there is. Uh, proximity mines could be very useful. A lot of liveries that somehow takes research. Um, but if you're going to get some of these, maybe get this nice thing to have for mobile action center. Um, get some armor since these can get these things get straight easily. Get some weapons. Um, any first surgeon custom weaponized Tampa. This is kind of what I really liked about it. Um, which was the mini gun on top. Um, which again, you get heavy chassis armor. This is very useful because the thing took one missile. So again, you get all these other stuff for it. Um, which is very nice to have but you can get an option where you have your what you know your gun on top like a mini fully armed mini gun on top like as this um the pitch um this picture right here which is on top of the tampa um so my preferred method here is buy supplies don't steal supplies um it's not worth it um at that point just save 75k what i prefer you do with the 75 buy the supplies 75k it takes almost 10 minutes to get here and just wait. Just wait for the money to go. And what I mean by that is you got the product, the one cell, the, the supplies you bought will deteriorate, will go down, will be manufactured in about a two to three hour time period in game time. Like when you're playing. So just, you can worry about other stuff while you do bunker now these are the same things for the mc businesses um two um the mlc if you're gonna buy this overall and also with the bunker you will get a max with those one supplies the one supplies one batch of supplies you bought you got 140k and then you multiply by 1.5 since you're going to be selling to Los Santos. That's the multiplier amount. And you'll be able to go to a nice crispy 2 out of 10k. Plus, if you have your own lobbies, 2 out of 10k just for doing no work and only buying supplies. So, very useful. 
like the business again you can steal supplies but i i prefer not to do it not really worth it um so for guns i have four guns up i have actually five guns up oh i got these my guns up here so if you're gonna upgrade guns get the combat mg and the combat rifle carbine rifle and the heavy sniper um heavy sniper you can get a dermal sight in this if you have if you have it research again if you want to do research you can have the regular side too thermal site pretty nice to have um these are free weapons i prefer to unlock this is a big upgrade um big big upgrade on these guns again these are very powerful weapons might as well upgrade some more that's kind of all i have to say about that um preferably if you have an opportunity to get a weapon a weapon workshop um, as this is the first one, so you can kind of do it and the MC. You can also get an arcade um, too for free price. Um, I don't know how much it is. Well, you can get an arcade if you do arcade heist. If you're interested. In, you can also get a free weapon workshop there. It's to have to buy it as an add-on in the in the MC. That's the thing. So the last thing we're kind of um, business we're gonna kind of talk about is the MC. And while we're kind of heading to the MC, we're gonna kind of talk about looking for group posts. In the meantime, again, might as well do that. Might as well make progress. Uh, might as well talk about stuff while we're gonna. So the MC is um, looking for group posts. Sorry very very vital for solo players because if you have nothing to do just say first thing you don't have to do work that's a big thing you don't have to do any work well you have to do some work yeah you have to complete the task but complete the task but you can just make money without having to spend it I this is one of my favorite methods Look for reposts. They are very active um, on Xbox page. And what I'm telling you, look for look for reposts. Now, this is very special tips. This is where it's going to be kind of very important. For looking for group posts, if you're looking for money, find people who are not for selling. Find people who are eaters um, who are selling MC businesses. I prefer you not to find people who are doing vehicle warehouse stuff. I know it's very because you don't get paid that much as a CEO. You get paid eight thousand if you help sell it sell for a guy in a CEO. And that's not worth a lot of money. Not worth anything. No, not worth a a look for post looking for group post join. I'm not gonna go into this, but I'm gonna be a nice guy. Um but just smiles opinion not really worth it here as I'm gonna die but it's just again not really worth it if you can do anything that is CO based um bunker is another one MC and bunker are the ones you kind of want to find selling missions for these are kind of the most common again if you uh, but for the bunker if you're gonna do it you have to tell the guy that it's MC business um, make sure to play on MC business. Otherwise, you would probably get a high chance of getting paid 8k um, instead of 30k when you help sell. Um, even there's cases where it's double XP, oh, sorry, double money and RP if you do help them. So, I prefer you kind of do that. This is just kind of um, extra money. Also, um, make sure that you're not. Um, not a important tip. Make sure they're actually uh, in a lobby before you get serious started because next day the guy gets on GTA 5 online. You know, it takes him forever to get online. And that doesn't work. You know, just start up game. Prefer you not to do those because you're in a hurry. Unless this guy's quick enough. Um, also, you can do a glitch for any. Um, selling mission, 
you do a glitch where you go into network, you can do it. You can test your nap type and it will empty out, empty you out, out of the, um, the lobby. Um, empty out the whole player lobby in your lobby by yourself, and you're still in a pu um, public session. Um, and we're gonna kind of get back on this, but as MC, um, these businesses I would consider a maybe. Now, in my method, I haven't really been abusing these abusing these business although a lot of people have and because it makes a lot of money and makes a decent amount of money now the problem is again you won't no i actually have stock here well um but good thing is these are on sale too everything is half off so if i was going to tell you to buy the business um so everyone pays different amounts document forgery is the one that's going to pay the least isn't going to pay you that much um as i think the max can get is 80k if it's full product um prefer you not get document forgery weed they have made buffs to weed on um, the weed business um in prices because this one used to barely pay anything um but i would still prefer not to get it i know it's a lot of sale so if you kind of like MC businesses, you probably want to get the weed business now. But again, this is a question mark. Um, they have made upgrades to it uh, where you're going to pay a little bit more uh, for weed because, again, you barely got, like, and then you barely got paid for it. Um, but yeah. Um, counterfeit cash. Again, I'm showing you location. Um, but I'll show you location on the map. So if you want to get weed for Mount Chiliad, as this is. Not that's not the right one, but. So get these ones. This one's a little bit. This one's the cheapest option. Shank, San Chiasque, mountain range. This is located on the map, right over here. So this is where it's located, right off the highway. Perfect location. And for these businesses, I prefer you get the cheap one. It doesn't really matter um, too much. There's a lot. A lot of businesses are kind of northern. Um. Again. You're going to kind of buy supplies. Also buy supplies off this. I prefer you not to kind of do the same um, buy supplies. You can steal this sometime. You can steal it if you want to. Just so you don't have to constantly buy supplies. If you do it once in a while. But I would prefer it. Um, cocaine is another great business to buy. Um, as I got that. You can, I probably got the common right over here. Very close to common road. Very. This one pays a lot of money. I think this one pays the most. Um. Per sale, like if you have a full stock, it pays a lot of money. I think somewhere in the five hundred k range, if it's full. Three hundred four to five hundred k. Two fifty could be low, but that's not bad amount. Um, Matt, great. Another great business to buy. Really high amount of profit you can make. Counterfeit cash also. I thought it was a cheaper one in here. Um, get these two. Um, again, I have no experience with, experience with these businesses, so I don't, um, I know I sold a lot. Counterfeit cash pays, it's the during most highest paying. I prefer, again, if you want to get it, but Matt pays a lot too. If you're going to get MC businesses, I prefer you get the meth and Matt and cocaine lockup. Those are really good businesses to get. Um, location does not really matter. I prefer you not to get anything in Polito Bay, um, or anything that sounds since it's not really going to be worth, um, your time and effort. Just get any of the kind of cheap ones, whatever the cheapest one in that specific business is, just get it. Um, that's kind of all I have to say there. And we're going to kind of finish this show, um, off with look through posts. So, Again, I said I would be able to look for your post. We talked about the business side. We're going to talk about heist. Um, so if you're going to be looking for a looking for group post on heist, I prefer you look for one that is on a finale or one step off a finale. And so don't get fooled. If it says prison break, it says prison break heist. Don't join it. That means they probably have setups. Or there's cases where they put prison break finale and they're actually not on a finale. Oh, sorry, I drank some water. So you don't want to join those ones. 
a horrible idea to join those specific ones because it is not worth the time and so also find ones that again I totally avoid um, some missions I avoid don't do doomsday again um, doomsday act free again if you feel risky but in my experience if you're gonna redo like you can host this doomsday heist like host a doomsday act free but some of them are not worth replaying I know it might be upset to some people but some of them are just would not worth my time so for example anything that has doomsday act free I prefer not to do those I just did not like the heist overall um, doomsday act 2 they are very common uh, but you have to have a cause there's a replay glitch with it um, not really preferred um, again if you kind of want to do it because no one if you're gonna find act 2 is gonna be replay glitches act 1 isn't a bad one to find again you can do those with two you can do it with two players you don't need multiple people like four three or four I split money really good pretty easy heist good one to find a lot of times they're gonna be one stop left um, it's server farm not very hard setup but people make it harder than it seems um, but just prefer you do that one um, for the regular heist again humane labs this is our one sub we had to deliver the EMP I prefer you not to do that one um, again you can I'm you can try it you can do it but I don't like doing those ones because it's a long drive and you know it's too many screw-ups for some that's easy um but again that's something you want to avoid if they have the sub remaining just wait for a high finale you can wait for that you can try out a high out uh, but just avoid big thing is avoid the ones that don't explain how many subs they got left um because a lot of times when they mention that there's 10 subs left. there's five subs left it's the whole heist there's three subs left just if you're gonna find one Go for one that only has one setup remaining. Because, again, you don't have to waste so much time. And Pacific Standard Heist, again. Again, Pacific Standard Heist is a big one to find. Finales on the lot. Times they do finales, pretty easy. If you have the experience crew, easy. 200, 300, K. Uh, Fleeka, uh, again, half the time. Arcade Heist. Um, it won't really matter because Arcade Heist, you only get to the finale. That's kind of all I have to say there because, again, you can do props with them. If they have one or two, I think if you can do Arcade Heist, a lot of times it would just go to straight to the finale. They just find people for the finale. But if you're going to find one with props, just find one that has only one or two props left. As I think you get paid for it. But I don't know. Um, and also, these are MC contracts. These are, if, um, I prefer not to do them solo. There's some of them you can do solo. Um... They pay you twenty to thirty k, not a very bad amount. But again, um, I prefer you not to. This is a question mark. I I did like doing it, um, but again, it's a, a lot of times it's a long drive just to get to location. Um, some of short, but it's a those missions are very easy, very self. Uh, Ford, standard, Ford. Self-explanatory. Um. That's kind of one more thing I gotta mention. We're gonna kind of head to nightclub. So nightclub is another business that is very popular. Um, that the great thing is you don't have to pay anything. You don't have to pay any supplies. You don't have to do this and that. Um, now there's popularity missions. I prefer you not to do again. If you want to do popular missions are not really worth it, um, since they don't give you a lot of bars and it just sometimes people don't like doing it because it's not really um, a high value. It's not really value too often. Again, it's not going to affect um, just. But the great thing about this business is you can be AFK. This is one of the businesses where you don't have to pay anything or you don't have to be there. So I'm gonna kill this guy real quick. Sorry. Um, no, mind, I'm not killing him. Um, but you don't have to pay any money towards it. So, as um, for example, as I try to get another car, 
you have there's some called technicians now technicians um again they they are very high priced um some of them are worth some of them have you have to pay a lot of money for it but they're very useful and they get the supplies for you they get, they get the supplies the product for you and they deliver it to your nightclub and then you sell it afterwards so you um there's also storage spaces where you can so the great thing about this is it only involves one vehicle this is perfect for solo players now you can buy it again you buy the nightclub you can go with the cheap options but the big thing is there's a business side to it and that's where you kind of want to be making your bucks so as you go into the nightclub it doesn't really matter um again you can make it as crazy as you want it um you can make it look as you know nightclubish as possible but again it doesn't really matter because again you're not people don't like don't really spend time in the nightclub it was popular in the first day don't kind of worry about you know if you can have a community there because that's again we're all worried about money so as we kind of head through here again the popular missions are kind of opinion again you can do it this now popular missions do help with how much money you make in the safe since it's also kind of a business um kind of a business you do make money um that isn't like you can sell but it just gets placed in your safe it's just extra um, money you can make as we kind of listen to some music also you can run for this business uh but again it's gonna the dance fights are only gonna be populated that's all you have to worry about it's not like it's gonna be empty where you just feel disappointed yourself so you go up here go to the second floor head over to the, head to the dance floor go to the stair steps head over here make a walk over here jolly 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 um he's gonna be kind of be dancing his head the whole time now here we go we're gonna be entering in and we are gonna run so the safe it's gonna be right over here there's a money thing over here open it up you can make a couple hundred bucks um you don't have to check this this off um that often if you don't if your popularity isn't that high um you do get paid per 40 minutes like a certain amount like i get paid maybe 100 bucks or 48 minutes um so here you go go here um the dj can improve your person your popularity thing if you switch up your dj every time you gotta pay tons of bucks you can promote the club um so warehouse manager doesn't matter what if you have the MC businesses set up for there. Um, sporting goods that can. Why is it not set up? Sorry. Oh, I don't. I'm probably gonna shut down my um thunker after this, but again, if you have, you can have five. So here, five technicians. They all work. They all focus on getting the product for each specific one. So like one guy focuses on cargo shipment, one guy focuses on um, weed, one guy focuses on cocaine. Very, very simple right there. And they basically get the path for you. So just keeps progressing every hour. See, 32K, I didn't have to do any work. This number would go up and up and up, and then you can sell when it reaches the max amount, which will equal 212K. Now, um, preferably you kind of, um, upgrade these raw. Well, I think this one is a pretty good one to upgrade. Again, any kind of business, try to upgrade your equipment and kind of just upgrade your equipment. Um, so that's kind of how I have for that. Make sure you do that. Checking it. And also one thing is you have storage spaces. So. Uh, as we can go to foreclosure again. Nightclub, I really, it doesn't really matter what location you get. These are, this is all going to be downtown. You're not going to matter. But I just got Mission Row for a case. Um, just because I think it's a good location. Um, storage, this is where you kind of want to focus on. If you kind of um, play a lot of GTA recently, if you don't, um, as a solo player, I prefer you get to ones. Um, no, you won't have two vehicles at any point. There's a point where you, um, there's something where you have to get, you have to upgrade your vehicle. Or buy a new vehicle that is based for, um, s delivering these products. So, I have a Mule Custom. 
that isn't here, but if I go to a different floor, I have a vehicle that delivers specifically, you know, that delivers a small product that will, but if you, your product reaches a little bit too high, there's a chance you might have a different vehicle. Um, there's a, so try to set a little bit. So I put it to a 12K. I get matters on how much, how active you are. If you're very active in free mode, um, like just say for example, if you're very active in free mode, I prefer you just kind of get like two, like two extra floors of storage space. Um. So that's where you want to do it. Just buy whatever. So again, I had to get that vehicle right over the big box truck because I had too much product. Um, so at that point, just again, I mentioned just get the two spaces, like two extra uh, floors or storage space. And again, if you can do more, if you want to but again it's not i i put free for a reason because as no i don't need too much i'm not gonna hire you know this is gonna be kind of a little bit slow business i'm not really caring about it. um you can also add garage space but i'm preferring not to again just don't worry about garage cars right now and all that um so that's gonna be it um that's kind of how I have made money effectively in 2019 slash 2020 for GTA 5. This is kind of my preferred method for a solo player. Now, again, you can do, um, again, you can probably do this with buddies. But again, a lot of people kind of do this stuff solo. They kind of don't have a lot of real life buddies that play GTA 5 anymore. But again, you do, you can make friends and try to help some help there. But this is kind of for the solo players. Also helping the, the newer players kind of accumulate um, how to make money effectively as again a lot of new and new newer and newer players have been joining the scene recently and yeah that's how that's the most this is the most effective way to save money while making money making as much money <coughs> as effectively as possible in GTA 5